Hello my friend and welcome back. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to go over my um, lip inventory. I have a feeling that this video might actually become a declutter video because um, I'm just looking at all the lip products that I have and it is, it is a lot. There is no way I could go through all of these nor do I think I want to go through all of these products. I don't know if I'm just holding on to things just to hold on to them. So if you would like to see what I have in my collection and what I end up tossing, um, please continue watching. Uh, but I'm going to flip us around so you can see the top of my vanity. Okay, as you can see, I was trying to already start organizing them into separate piles, but like, I don't, I don't even know where to start. This is a bit overwhelming for me. Um, so let's start with this container right here, because this is what I always have on my vanity. These are the products that I'm constantly reaching for or constantly looking for. Um, so in here I have the ColourPop, um, let me fix the, I have the ColourPop Oogie Boogie. Um, I really like this, this is like one of my favorite nude shades and I like that it's kind of seasonal. Um, I think this is really cool. I think it was really fun that they included a neutral shade in their collection because I don't know, the holiday season is only X amount of days and I will never use a lip product that quickly. You know what I mean? So I like that I can use this year round. Um, this is a primer. Um, I don't know why that's in there. Uh, this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Untouchable Lip Gloss. This is like a very brown lip gloss and I like this because I had a phase last year where I liked doing a very brown lip. I've noticed that it's kind of been sneaking back up on me. Um, Say what you will about Jeffree Star, I know, I know, but I don't think it's a bad gloss formula. I think it's pretty good. And the fact that he's been having all these crazy sales lately, you could get it on like a discount. Um, this isn't my only one, I have a few more from him. Uh, these are the two Tower 28 glosses. These were the seasonal releases for this year. Um, I do like to pair this one more with like a brown uh, lip liner. And I do really enjoy this clear gloss. I enjoy this clear gloss a lot. Um, but this one, I have to kind of pair it with the brown because if I just put it bare on my lip, it almost isn't very flattering to my skin tone and my undertones. Um, but it's, it's a really pretty color. And then I have the e.l.f. Mint Melt uh, Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. You can see that I've kind of really been using this product a lot like maybe if I bring it up closer you can see like here's where the product starts um this is just a really nice nude shade and it does I do like the plumping qualities of this gloss I think it's really good um I know that this is like one of those glosses that I reach for a lot especially if I know I'm going to go out and eat because for the price point to reapply I don't feel so bad about it you know um, but this is the Uoma Beauty by Sharon C. It's complicated. Um, this is in the shade Softy. We all know, if you've been watching my videos, we all know how I feel about this. Um, if I'm not using this one, I'm using this one. These two constantly kind of come in and out of my bags a lot. Um, you can even see the wear and tear on the packaging. This one in particular is just really nice because I can use it kind of as like a blush um, and as a lip product. I haven't used it on my eyes, but I don't know if I would need to. It's just a very nice flattering brown for me. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. Um, this has been my favorite red lipstick since I've gotten it. I kind of want to get it in the big bullet um, lipstick. I think this is, I forget what these ones are called. They're like the, the Kissing Pro or something like that. Like these are more of like, um, not like a glossy finish, but more like a balm kind of thing. Like these are very easy to apply. They're not very satin like their bullet lipsticks. And then I have the Buxom Pillow Pout in, uh, what shade are you? Soft Whisper. I like this one. Um, this would be a product that I would wear under my masks a lot. Um, I haven't really been reaching for this one, but this is a color that I would reach for quite often. Um, I like these more in like the spring and summertime because I don't like things that are going to make my lips super sticky at that time. Um, Cause I don't know, I, I just, I don't like my hair to catch to my lips. And in the spring, it gets very windy out here. And then in the summertime, I don't know, I just, I don't want my face to feel like it's melting. 
Uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Supermodel. We all know how I feel about this one. This one is like my all-time favorite. I wouldn't say it's my perfect nude, but it's my perfect nude if I was a 90s model, so love it. Um, these are my Fenty Heat glosses. Again, if we've been watching my channel for a while, we both know how I feel about this. Um, I really enjoy this one with like a nude kind of look. Like if I do a no makeup makeup kind of thing, I'm always reaching for this one. But for a red lip gloss, I didn't think I would love it so much. It is really, really flattering. I think I'm going to be reaching more for this one in like the spring and summertime when I think I'm going to be wearing more bright colors. I don't know. We'll see. But these two really, really good. I like the plumping formula of this. It's a little bit different from this one. It's a bit more intense. Um, but I don't know. It's not, it's not bad. Um, I will say though that when you do reapply, there is kind of like, there can be like a weird film if like your lips are dehydrated. So I don't know. Also have a lip, a lip balm. And then the last two are, so this is the Sigma lip oil. I have mine in all heart. Um, I really enjoy these. These are very, very nice. Um, I didn't think I would like lip oils. This is just like a gloss and a balm in one and I can reapply this and it doesn't leave any weird feeling on my lip. So this is really, really nice. Sigma does have a few other colors. I think there was a different color I wanted to get. I think this is more of like their mauve one. I don't know why I'm so attracted to mauve colors because then I see them and they look pretty but then I apply them on my face and they're not as flattering. But this one just doesn't really have too much pigment and it kind of just brings out my natural lip color anyway. So I don't really want to say it's like a true mauve but um, if it was this like tone in the bottle as like a lipstick, I don't know why I'm attracted to it because it's it doesn't flatter me. And then this is the uh, NARS lipstick in Barbara. This was like my perfect nude. Um, when I worked at Disney, I wore this one every single day. Um, this is just absolutely perfect. It's like my favorite lipstick to wear to work. Uh, but because we're wearing masks, I don't really wear lipsticks to work. But I just like to have it on hand because I know this is a product that I reach for quite often. So let me put everybody back in their homes and maybe kind of sort some things out because I don't know why I have that primer in there. Okay. Um, this primer I'm just gonna stick in here for now. So let's just go over my lip liner so I can be done with them. Um, these are the ones that I'm constantly wearing. Uh, these are all my Nabla lip glosses, or excuse me, all my Nabla lip liners. I have the nudes one through four. Um, these are my absolute favorite. If you couldn't tell, I like a brownie nude kind of lip liner because I have a problem. I don't know, but I, like I said, these all look fairly similar when they're next to each other, but I swear they're like different tones. So I always leave these ones here because I know they're what I'm reaching for a lot. I did recently get this Melt um, Perfectionist Lip Pencil. Uh, this is in the shade Caffeine. This is like a very true brown for me. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my other video when I was doing a more like bold, kind of like honey inspired look. Um, I was wearing this lip liner. I do like the, if all the other pencils have this similar kind of formula, I think it's really nice. The precision is there. The longevity is there. Um, this is a really good lip liner. Again, I would probably buy it in like those brown nudes, but you'll see. I don't actually need to do that right now because um, I have all these other like brown nude lip liners. So many of them. What am I going to do with myself? Um, so where do I start? Let me pull out my ColourPop ones because I know I have some doubles. So this one is so happy. I believe this one is discontinued, which is sad because I really do enjoy it. Um, and then this one is in Cool BFF. Um, this one is also discontinued and I wish I had picked up a second one, but then I realized I have it in the Nobla shades. And then this one is, oh, do I have two So Happies? Just kidding. I guess I did restock on So Happy. So I have two of them. Um, this one is BFF. Again, these, like, these ones are these ones. They're, they're the same. They're really the same. Um, I really have a problem. 
And I, is that it for, I have a smaller like pink one. This one is in another round. Um, it is only as short as it is because it was so troublesome to sharpen. And as you can see, like I can pull out the, like why does this happen? I don't understand. But it happened the first time I started to sharpen it and then it just hasn't stopped and I can pull it all the way out. I should stop doing that before I break it. Um, but I can pull it all the way out. So I don't really reach for this one because it is kind of troublesome to use, but it's an okay, like if I wanted more of like a pinkier, rosy kind of lip, that's what I would reach for. And then this is the, um, from, what shade is this? Good and Plenty. This is from the uh, Plush Like Me collection. I think people really liked this one because they just released a holiday bundle and this one was in it and this one has been sold out and come back into stock a few times. So I think this one might make it over to um, the collection. Oh, and I have another one from the So Plush Like Me and this one is over the liner. Again, the, it, you, I'm just seeing a trend, just nudie, nudie pinks. What I will say about the ColourPop formula is they're a bit more... They're not as precise as this melt one, you know, where like I can I can feel it. It is a bit like I don't I don't know how to describe it, like softer. Um, like it's my camera or my memory card filled, so I had to swap cards. Um, but what was I saying? Uh, oh, the ColourPop formula is it's not as precise. Like the the formula is like a little bit softer. You can get precision. That's not the issue. It's just. I don't know, it's just softer. Um, and I, I'm i trying, I'm just drawing a blank on like how I'm trying to describe this. It's just not as dry. It's, I, I don't know how else to describe it. Where like, I know that I can get the precisions with th these two. And as soon as wherever I put my pencil, that's where I have it. These ColourPop ones are a little bit easier to clean up if you do go a little bit beyond where you were trying to go. Um, and they're okay for the price point they're really good they're really good lip liners i don't really believe in like spending tons of like high-end money on lip liners um i just i don't get it because i know that there's like super great affordable ones but that's that's just the difference i was seeing um so i think i have a few from nyx that one is a mac um maybe i only have two from nyx oh no no i have three Okay, so I have the NYX um, matte liner in the shade Tea and Cookies and in Brunch Me. And I really do enjoy these ones. I think these ones are the most similar to the MAC formula. Um, these ones are really nice. I think I have these two pinkier shades because these are the shades that I mostly use when I'm cosplaying. Um, I realize I think I have a lot of like pinkier lip liners because I... It's hard because not all characters, right, have uh, super defined lips. A lot of the time it's just like a line. They don't even have like their lips shaded in. So what I do when I cosplay is I'll mostly go for like a lip liner if they don't have a super defined lip. Um, so I just try to find something that is like more suiting to the other tones that I'm using. So these are the two that I reach for the most, I think, when it comes to that. So, and I mean, I do, well, I will use these for my like normal makeup you know, just like my personal day-to-day -day makeup. But because of these shades, I don't know, like this one more so than the other one, the Brunch Me, because it is like this like super nude shade. Um, this more pinkier one though, I don't know. I don't really have a lot of lip products that would go with this, but maybe if I pair it with some glosses. And then I have the, what is this? This is the NYX Slide On, um, lip liner in bed rose and i believe this one again it's like that more like kind of like mauvier pink kind of tone and i think these are just the three that i mostly use for cosplay like uh, there was a time where i was cosplaying rapunzel a lot um i don't know i'm trying to think i'll use them for like my asuka and things like that um i don't know i I'll, for my bucciarati one i kind of use one of these ones I'm just, I'm trying to blank. I've done so many cosplays, but these are my three cosplay lip liners at the end of the day. And then I have this one. I don't know where this came from, why I have this. Um, 
Jaunt Blue, I think is what the brand is called, but this is in the shade Spice. This was my favorite brown lip liner for forever, but now that I have the MAC one, um, I don't know. I think these two are, are comparable. Like, I really do think that they are very comparable. Um, again, I don't know why I have this one. I don't remember this brand. Is this an affordable brand? I don't know, is this brand even still around? I just know that I've had this one for a long time. Because I would pair this one with my Barbara um, lipstick as well if I wanted a more like a bolder look at work. Um, but I don't know. It's it's good, I like it. I just, I don't, I don't know much about that brand and like where it came from. I guess it's just one of those products that's been with me for forever. Does that mean I should throw it away? Does lip liners go bad? Let me know in the comments. Um, this is also a Melt lip liner, and this is in the shade Cinder. I would pair this with their liquid um, lipsticks that I have that we'll see in a bit. It's more of like a terracotta nude kind of shade. Um, it's really nice. I enjoy it. I wish I reached for it more. This one isn't as precise as this one. Um, this one kind of reminds me more of like the ColourPop formula, so maybe... I don't know, I think ColourPop might have like a similar shade in it. I don't know if Melt is discontinuing these ones and then just sticking with this formula. I don't know what's going on because I think they're called the same thing. No, this is the Perfectionist Lip and this is the All Day Every Day, but they're both... One, well, I guess one's Ultra Matte and then one's Ultra Precision. So maybe they're not the same. I don't know. Um, but it's not bad. I just forget that I have it. And then this is the MAC um, Der Dervish lip liner. Um, this, I swear, was like my perfect nude lip liner. As you can see, this one is like brand, brand new. I finally went through this old one that I had. It took me years. I think like from 2016 to now. God, that's so long. Um, again, and if it took me that long to go through one lip liner, like how, there's no way I'm going to go through all of these but I can't bring myself to get rid of any of them. Um, I really like this one. This was like my perfect, like my lip color, you know, it, it is a bit more metallic. So I wouldn't say this is like my true nude anymore, but I have such a love for this shade and for this lip liner and it complements all the other like lip bullets that I use. And I just think MAC has a really good um, lip liner formula. But again, I don't know. I think this is a bit more pricey than like what a ColourPop lip liner is. And I just, these Nabla ones are like $11 and I want them to come out with more shades because that would be absolutely wonderful. Because um, I don't know, I think if they had more like pinkier tones, of course I would buy them. Do I wear pinkier uh, products? Not really. Oh God, see, and then this other one too, like the cap never stays on no matter how hard I click it. Having a moment here. Um, so let me put these ones back. Okay, and then I have, oh, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, so these are just some lip products that aren't really like lipsticks or lips or lip glosses. They're just kind of like a weird in-between. So I do have the Rare Beauty um, Balm. This is like their liquid balm. This one is a Nearly Mauve. Again, I don't know why I go for these mauve tones because I don't think mauve is very flattering on me. But it is very nice if you liked those, um, what's it called? Those Huda Beauty like lip, silk lip, lip silks. Um, I think you would like these ones a little bit more because I do find these ones to be a bit more conditioning of the lip and like act like a true lip balm and sit down like a true lip balm. Um, it is a bit more pigmented. This paired with like the right lip liner, like it's a really awesome like lip look. Again, just because, I don't know, I, I wear masks to work, I don't really reach for things like this. And then when I am on camera doing makeup, I want something a bit more bold. And I think that's the issue with a lot of these. So these would be the kind of products that I would wear day to day um, if, you know, I was just living a normal life and like going to work and coming home and whatever. Um, but just due to masks, these products like aren't necessarily like transfer proof and they would get all over my face. Um, so I have these lip pops from Lime Crime. These have been on sale, they're still on sale. I don't know what's going on with them. 
I like the cold brew. This is like my perfect like brownie kind of nude. I like this. Um, this one is macaroon. This one is more of like the like pinkier, like brighter kind of nude. I like that one. This one is in gold star. I haven't really used this one too much, but it does have like an orange finish. Um, I'm sure I would like it. These apply like a lip balm and they're like a lip tint almost. Like they're, they're just very nice on the skin and you can eat with them and they don't like smear all over your face. So reapplication isn't so bad. And I'd say the same about these two buxom ones. Um, again, I mentioned the other one earlier, but this one is in Cozy Up and this one is in Cuddle Me. Um, they say that it has like a lip plumping property in it. Not really. Like, I think it just kind of smooths out your lip, but they're not bad. Again, I think it's just, these are products from another time and we're not in those times right now, but I hope we can get back to those times. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So I, I'm not decluttering any of these ones, but I am moving them to the side. Um, let's talk about my bullet lipsticks because I thought I had a lot more than I actually do. And I'm actually proud of myself um, for this. So I have these two MAC uh, Love Me lipsticks. This one's in Coffee and Sigs, and this one's in Bated Breath. Um, I think these are still available on their website. They were on sale for a while, but now they're back to like normal pricing. So I don't think that these are being discontinued. I know that they have the like liquid lipstick formula for them now too. I think these are beautiful shades. I think these are beautiful colors. Um, these ones are a little bit deeper and darker, but I like them. As far as like bullet lipsticks go, I think MAC has a really good formula and they do it well. I just think people forget about them. And then this one is in the shade Cosmos. Um, it came with the lip liner. It's more of just like a, a nudie kind of pink. Um, I guess if I were, I don't know, I would mostly use this one for cosplay, but this is more for like the characters like Faye or like Faye Valentine or um, I don't know, just like the older, more mature characters where like they make it a point to draw out their lips or give them lip color. Um, I would go for this one or at least like even if they don't give them lip color, they're just like an older character because an older character, why wouldn't they wear a nude lipstick? You know what I mean? Um, so I do like those ones. This one is in Band T. This is the ColourPop Blurred Lip. I've talked about these a number of times. I really do enjoy these. The, the bullet itself looks super matte, but it's, it's like a gel finish. It's like a slip on the lip, but it, it's pigmented. I really enjoy this shade. I do have this one in Oasis. Um, this one is like my least favorite only because I don't really reach for shades like this. So I might pass this one along. Only because, like I said, I don't really reach for this kind of shade, um, but it's it's still very, very pretty. It's just not my personal preference. Um, I've talked about this one before. This is the Satin Lipstick from Anastasia. This is the shade Tease. It's not bad. When you first apply them, it is a bit dry. I think the product does have to warm up on your lip. I think they smell really wonderful. Um, I think these are discontinued and they no longer have them. Um, I wish I, I could get my hands on different shades because this one is a bit brighter. I am actually wearing it today with like, I don't know, uh, not so deep of a nude, but I have a very Kim Kardashian lip right now and like that's not normally how I do my makeup. Um, and then this is the, this is a new addition to my family. Uh, this is the Melt um, lip, Ultra Matte Lipstick in Cat Suit. I did wear this one the other day and I did wear it with the um, lip liner. I enjoy it, like I can smell it from here. It's, it smells like vanilla. It's very, like I don't know how to describe it. Um, like on Christmas, you know when you open your like toiletries from your stocking and everything just kind of smells like sweet candy vanilla. That's what these lipsticks smell like. Um, I know people had mentioned that they didn't quite like this formula all that much. I don't think it's bad. I think the longevity is really wonderful. I am I am interested in purchasing it in different shades because I mean, very rarely am I wearing like a true brown like this, but I didn't hate the look that I had when I did wear this. Um, so I'm not against it. I just, again, I don't need, I don't need to buy more shades that I already have that are like my nude or whatever. But 
it's not bad. I think it's really good. And I like the packaging. Like it has this magnetic close. Um, it's very sturdy. This is very nice. And for it to be this size, I think, I don't think this is the mini. I think it's, this is the full size. I kind of prefer products in this size range because then I, I feel like I'll actually kind of get through it. And then this is the Rare Beauty um, Dewy Lip Balm in Sincere. Again, this is just like another mauve shade. What did it come? Was this like a trio thing where I got these two products and something else? I can't remember now. I can't, but it was like their mob, their mob collection, I think. Um, this one is truly like a lip balm. I don't think it's the best lip balm. Um, I don't think it's the worst, but for the price point, I could just buy like a chapstick. You know what I mean? Um, it doesn't really have too much like of a color payoff. It's just, it's okay. It's all right. Um, and so then let's get into my lip glosses. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've been talking forever. I'm sorry. Um, I guess I can leave you there. So these are my lip glosses. And I don't know, I, I don't wanna declutter any of these because I sincerely love them and enjoy them. So let's just get these ones out of the way. These are the Jeffree Star lip glosses. I have Mouthful, Tabletop, and um, Body Count. I really enjoy this one. Like I can wear it bare. I can wear it on top of lip products. Um, you can even tell this is probably like my most used one. It's just a nice pretty pink gloss and it, it stays like slippery on the lip, but it doesn't move around on your face. So it's not bad. Um, this is more of like a brown with like a gold shimmer in it. And then this is just like a lighter version of that, I think. I don't know, this is from like his nudes collection. And I really do enjoy these. And I'm kind of sad that um, when I got these, it was at like the very start of the pandemic. So I feel like I would have really, really loved these more if I didn't have to wear stuff over my face. But I think these are really nice. I don't think that they're a bad set of lip glosses, um, but I know how people feel about Jeffree Star and you don't have to buy his stuff because I'm sure there's another brand that has similar stuff. I just don't think it's that bad of quality. Um, this is the full on a buxom plumping lip cream. It's more of like a lip gloss really. Um, this shade is discontinued because I have it in fuzzy navel and it's like my favorite pink gloss. I do like the plumping sensation of this. Um, I don't know, it's really nice. It smells like candy. This smells almost exactly the same as that Melt product, just like a candy vanilla. I really do enjoy this. Um, I'm sad that it's discontinued, but I'm gonna keep using it until it's gone. And then these are my ColourPop lip glosses. But as you can see, these Lizzie McGuire ones, they separate. And I'm kind of bummed about it because I don't know if that's what they're supposed to do. So like I will shift how I store them, but all the glitter and the pigment just kind of goes towards the bottom. It's just, it's very bizarre to me. And I think I've mentioned this before. Um, it does leave a little bit of like a, like a color change. Like when I put this red one on, my lips have more of like a red tint to them versus this Gordo one. And it has more of like a purple tint to it. Um, they're not, they're not bad. I like them. The glitter isn't like super chunky and noticeable on the lip. I'm not a huge fan of the bubblegum scent, but uh, it's not too, too noticeable and it doesn't last for very long. It's more so when you open the packaging, but once you apply it on your lips, it's kind of like non-existent. I really do enjoy these. I like the plumping quality. I think these were the better of the So Juicy formula. These are really, really nice and I really do enjoy them. So I'm waiting for spring to come back around because like colored highlighters, I like colored lip balms. And then this one is just a clear one because I didn't have a clear gloss in my collection. But if I'm being honest, I like the Tower 28 one a bit more. The Tower 28 one just kind of sets in place. But this one plays exactly like the Lizzie McGuire ones where it's just like a normal plumping lip gloss. I don't know. It's just, um, it leaves, it, it. not that it like doesn't, it doesn't settle on your lip because it's a lip gloss. So like, I don't think I really like to wear it when I'm going out versus the Tower 28 one that I feel like it does kind of set. Um, but again, it's not a bad gloss. Um, you can tell that I don't really wear this with anything. I just wear this over my lip because 
I don't know. I'm always nervous about applying a clear gloss over like a lip product because then it won't be a clear gloss anymore. It changes color. And then, oh, I almost forgot. I have this wet cherry lip gloss from Lime Crime. Um, this is in Fairy Cherry. I wanted to go and pick up the green one, but then realistically, I just thought, you know, I'm sure another brand will release it. I think it is a nice formula. I really do, but I don't know what's going on with Lime Crime. I kind of want to avoid purchasing things from them from, from here on out. Um, I really do enjoy this lip gloss. I really, really do love it. Um, it gives me like, I don't know, I, I would wear this a lot when I got my first Kleidos products very early on in the year. Um, I would also pair this with my Ultraviolet palette from Urban Decay. Um, so holding on to it is more of just like a sentimental thing and I do, again, I do love the product and I think it's absolutely wonderful, but like look, there's not so much product even left in here, well you can't really tell, but like it, when I take the wand out, the most majority of the product is down here, like right, right here. Um, which is unfortunate because I, I really do, I don't know, I, again, I don't know what's going on with Lime Crime, I feel like they have really great ideas and maybe they just have a lab that overcharges them. I don't get it, but I won't be picking up the green one unless someone gifts me the green one. It probably won't ever be in my collection, which is unfortunate, um, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna hold on to it and use it till it's gone, but I probably won't be restocking that anytime soon. Okay, and then let's get into my liquid lips because I'm sure this is where I'm gonna declutter a lot of things. Um, Let's get them all out, I guess. Okay, let's start with these ones from Sigma because I couldn't even remove these from my basket. These were just like a free gift with purchase. And these were bought like at separate times, like months and months apart. And Sigma's only offering, you know, the, um, the red shade, which is unfortunate because I don't really wear red lipstick nor would I wear a red matte. So if I can repurpose these in some way, I will, or I'll just pass them along. Um, this is the Juvia's Place Black Lipstick in Doo Doo. Um, again, when I did my um, unboxing video, I didn't know what I was really gonna use this for. I haven't touched it since. I don't know what I would do with it, so I had to find a way to repurpose a black lipstick, really. Um, and then this is the Kleidos um, Scorpion Fruit. I have to find a darker lip liner to pair with this, I believe, because um, I think this would look best with a lip liner. And I, I'm not mad at it, but if I were to keep one black lipstick, it's going to be this one. I like how this one sat on my lips a lot more than kind of how this one did. Um, this one is just very matte and very drying, um, but I don't know if it's eye safe. And I don't know if I'm gonna get into graphic liner anytime soon, so I don't know, but I'm gonna keep this one. And then let's talk about these plushy ones from, actually, hold on, let me change my battery. Okay, we're back. Am I in focus? I think so. Um, so then these are the, the plushy uh, lipsticks from Lime Crime. Um, let me just stand these ones up because I don't know if you can see but these ones in particular, maybe if I just didn't have this light in your guys' eye, sorry. So I don't know if you guys can really tell, but these ones are separating. Um, and even after I shake them, they still separate. So I have a feeling that these ones are, they're past their date. They're, it's just time for them to go. And like, look, it's two pinks like two pinky well one's a mauvey shave and then one's like a pinky tone i used to blend these ones together but again mauvey tones oh i'm blurred so again these ones are one's a mauvey tone and one's a pinky tone and again these are just not shades that are very flattering on me i would mix them together and they would create this beautiful shade um i don't know i think i think what's difficult about these um lip products is that they they are like a liquid lip and I would pair them with the primer and they wouldn't be as drying. Um, they, it's more just like a lip satin, like a liquid lip satin, but then I would just rather buy the, the bullet and have it. Um, but I don't know, these are, 
it's so gross. Do these even smell funny? Like, if they smell funny, then I definitely know they're bad. No, like, this one still smells kind of like that kind of candy smell. Oh, God, let's go into this one. I'm nervous. Ew, that's so gross. It's so watery in the thing. It's not that it smells bad, but it definitely smells like chemicals. So I think I just have to throw this one away. And I think, oh, this one's even, this one's even worse. It's like straight oil. Yeah, these, like, it, it smells like, um, like nail polish remover. I'm sorry, these gotta go. Those, those gotta go. Um, let's check this one. I'll at least maybe keep these two brownie ones because those are more like my jam. Yeah, this one smells fine. Like, it, it's supposed to smell kind of like, um, like birthday cake. I don't know. It's, it's like a, not a candy vanilla. Anyway, I'm going to hold on to these two. And it's funny because I think, I think what I was trying to do was blend these ones together to make this shade. So this is the Jeffree Star uh, liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Nathan. Um, this is like my perfect nude. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Has it? Oh, it smells absolutely rancid. Ew. Um, that's not good. That's just unfortunate because this is like my favorite shade of all time. Um, this was like my first like liquid lipstick ever. Um, I think the shade is so flattering. I will hold on to this only because it's like a part of makeup history because uh, Jeffree Star is no longer dating Nathan anymore. Um, oh wow, you can even see, oh. Yeah, this is definitely old. I, I wish he would even just come out with the shade and just rename it something else because this is such a beautiful shade and I love it and I'm so disappointed, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then this was my attempt at purchasing uh, or remaking this Nathan shade from Melt. So one is, this one's called X, and I thought this one was like the perfect like color match for Nathan, and I thought it was funny because Nathan is the X, and I don't know which one, I don't know if this one came out and then this one did, or like if this one came out after this one and they were just trying to remake it. I don't know, but I think that's kind of funny. And then this one is in the shade Gwendolyn, and I think I mentioned this last time, but I just like it because it's the name of one of my favorite Dark Soul characters. And again, it's just a terracotta nude. It still smells like birthday cake, but I know last time I opened these, it has, it has like this weird like oil film to it. I think you just really have to like shake the product before you use it, I think, I don't know. Um, I'm going to put it back in its home, but let's check out X. Yeah. I mean, they smell really nice. I just got these ones this year, so they shouldn't, they shouldn't be bad. I just, I don't know what, where that oil film came from. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think that's it for my lip products. I feel like this was a very long winded video. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really swatch anything. It's just, I know that all these shades are like super, super similar and they're not really anything like too crazy different. Um, again, I'm just noticing trends of me being stuck in very same colors. And I guess that's what makeup is, right? Because like, you know what you like and what you want. And I'm, I don't think that I'm a makeup artist in any way. I just like makeup that makes me feel pretty. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not buying lip liners anymore. Um, and I'm not really buying liquid lip products anymore. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you also have these old rancid plushy lipsticks? Um, are you like me and you're just kind of like done with lime crime? I think they're more of a hair brand anyway. Um, but let me know in the comments down below. I like to hear from you guys. And um, thank you for joining me on this inventory slash declutter series because I'm definitely gonna toss some things out. Um, I don't know, it's a bit overwhelming to look at all my lip products and like there, I know that there are things in here that I haven't touched in a while. And I don't know if I will go 
back to touching them. Especially if now I'm making video content and I'm buying new products. I think it's now I gotta get realistic with myself and it's like, mm, do I like it enough to keep it and continue using it or did I like it when I reviewed it? So I have some things to think about, but I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.